breaking news right now, we are learning a team of national scientists will be examining the site in Surfside to investigate the cause of this collapse. And local tennis Christina Vasquez is live with these developments for us this noon. Christina. Just a short time ago, we were able to confirm with the National Institute of Standards and Technology that indeed they are sending a team of six engineers and scientists to the site. The initial focus for them will be to preserve essentially some materials on that site and also work with crews already there to determine whether they want to do a full investigation into the reasons why this building may have collapsed. So if you're not familiar with this agency, consider them to be the NTSB, so to speak, of building collapses. After 2002, the, an act was created, this um, National Institute of Standards and Technology. They've been around since 1901, but it was only in 2002 when an act was created to create these safety teams to go out specifically looking at building collapses and the infrastructure around them and they can span anything from a terrorist attack they're actually the agency that did the report on the world trade center for instance or things like hurricanes or something like this which essentially are some unanswered questions about what kind of design or contracting defects or even an environmental impact what are some of the different forces that impacted the structural integrity of this building so i want to both of us to look together at this statement I just got from NIST and I'll read it with you as they explain the real goal of this process um, if they decide to do a full-blown investigation or study is to determine the technical cause of the collapse and if indicated to recommend changes to building codes standards and practices or other appropriate actions to improve the structural safety of buildings. We also heard this morning from U.S. Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz about this team being here. Let's listen in together. The issues like the questions around the structural damage to the pool, uh, that area that has been mentioned, and other different points of, of weakness, um, they will look through that preliminary investigation and determine whether they open a full investigation. And that is triggered when they get a sense of, after their preliminary review, of whether or not any de decisions and, and fact finding that they engage in as a result of that investigation can have longer term in implications and recommendations for how we change federal oversight, federal law, related to building construction and the kind of code enforcement decisions that will have to be made on the ground. And that is in part why learning that that team is going to be here is so significant. So if they choose to do a full investigation, then as you just heard right there, depending on the recommendations, what happened here in Surfside and some of the factors that are eventually to be determined created those concerns from a structural integrity standpoint could change codes nationwide. But a sense of timeline, folks. So the preliminary part that she's talking about, according to a spokesperson for NIST over the course of the next two weeks they will be working to determine if they want to do a full investigation the next step is what's called a recommendation and even that one to two week timeline is you know really pending all the work happening right now with first responders because they don't want any of their actions on this investigation side of the integrity of the building to at all impede the immediate work that's being done on that search rescue and recovery recovery mission. So let's just say they meet their up to two weeks for a recommendation to do an investigation and they do that. If they choose to do an investigation, we are talking months, if up to two years before that full investigation would be complete to understand what exactly happened on Thursday morning. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.